totally took the Giga Array down. It is driving with the Giga Array. Well, this is unusual. Look, we're gonna take. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Grace Blazer, and we're back with more brick rigs. Let me ask you boys something. You like lifted cars? <laughs> Koi Koi over here has crafted for us a lifted vehicle. This is not your, uh, you know, your typical seven to nine inch lift or whatever the kids are doing these days. Over here, you have a uh, beautiful 90 foot lift or whatever this is. I can't, there's no way to get up into this vehicle. Koi Koi, we're gonna need a ladder, man. We're gonna need a ladder to get into this bus over here. Luckily, with the flying ability, Bob can go ahead and teleport himself into the vehicle just now supposedly this doesn't flip i i can't this is impossible <laughs> it actually drives i hadn't tested this or anything so i didn't okay nope 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 gonna go ahead and nope my way out of there no big deal let's just go ahead and twist the do around i wasn't sure if it would actually move forward but it legitimately looks like it does it even turns like not fantastically or anything but it, it does turn now as we are higher than every other building, well, almost every building, there's only a couple of skyscrapers that are slightly taller than us. I'm very curious what happens if we run this thing headlong into one of the buildings. Don't mind if I just, okay, there you go. And that right there, folks, is why you always make sure to have insurance when installing your lift kits, because, uh, you know, this is how it goes. This is like everything in life, right? It's like you start off with a little bit of something, and then you want a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. And before you know it, can't see the tires anymore. You cannot see the tires anymore. Koi Koi, I don't know what you've done here, but this is absolutely hilarious. Verdeth is back. He's got the Hindenbrick over here. This lovely creation of agony and explosiveness. Is it as flammable as we would like to believe? Let us go inside and take a look at the guts of the Hindenbrick over here. Looks pretty legitimate. Uh, now supposedly, it's not the fastest vehicle in the universe, mind you. I haven't messed with it, but I'm right now we're going to see how well the Hindenbrick does fly. You can see... Slowly starting to maneuver its way. Now, what happens if you turn on the, uh... What happens if you... Oh, wow. You can move the flaps and stuff. Hold on, I think I can bring us up over here. There we go. Just coasting along. It's a silent... It's a silent vehicle, okay? There's not a lot you're missing here when it comes to the sound. There we go! And looking high over Bricksville is the Hindenbrick. I'm gonna let this go right now so we can check out the interior goo while it's moving along our piloting area over well i didn't see that building there totally missed the building totally missed the building now i'm hugging the building this is what happens this is what happens to the hidden brick is there any way for me to stop mating with the building get off of the building this giant tylenol looking device <laughs> there has to be a way oh oh okay i think I think we're we're back we're back yeah we're fine we're fine all right we're kind of starting to twist a little bit I don't really like the direction that we're heading here what's the inside of the hidden brick look like oh it's the yaw and the roll and the throttle and the pit oh it all moves you gotta be kidding me look at this it like well now I'm kind of screwed because I'm I think I'm like flipping all over the place ow but you can see it's so sweet. The throttle actually moves around, the pitch and everything like that. Look at this pitch up, pitch down. That's so crazy. Now we do have an issue. For all of the crashing that the Hindenbrick did, it did not explode. That is completely and utterly unacceptable. And thus, we must move towards something on the map, which is highly flammable. Right over here, we do have one of those fuel tanks. I think I'm pitched all the way down. I think that is what is causing this grave difficulty that I'm having in swinging the giant Tylenol upward. So let me go ahead and pitch this way as I make my computer beep at me for clicking too many buttons at once. I got the W down, I got the forward button down, everything's going on over here. Now if we can just kind of like wheel this around here like a giant bat, I think we'll be able to land right on top of this. All right, so now if we pitch down, 
this should be it. This this should get us the explosion that we are appropriately looking for. Now, how long does it take the There it is. Excellent. I was wondering how long it would take the hidden brick to fall to the ground. What in the what in the ever loving What's going on with the thing over here? There we go. Everything's fine now. The hidden brick Whirly gagging through the air over here. That's the flame I wanted to see. Oh, we did it perfectly. Look, the flame is spreading. <laughs> it's spreading like this thing is just smothered in kerosene as all the bits and pieces litter the ground. The Hinden Brick is, in fact, going down slowly but surely. I love how it, like, legitimately slowly glides to the ground. Now, I guess the only other thing we can have, and this is just for, like, aesthetic view. It's like little bombs put in there every so often, so like every once in a while, like, addition, additional secondary and tertiary explosions happen. This is very weird. Because it's levitating. It's almost like freaking Doctor Strange is in on this. Look at all the pieces just slowly trickling off to the ground. And this would be, oh, we have to shoot this thing out of the sky. This would be, like, the perfect item for some sort of, like, anti-air gun to use against this or some sort of flat cannon or something. Because look at how long it takes to fall. Like, any other helicopter or plane or something like that would... And this is full speed. Like, that, we're not even slow motion here. Any other type of, the, of vehicle would be, like, just already crashed to the ground. But not the hidden brick, man. The hidden brick is... Still managing to just limp its way to a final landing. Now there is one thing to note, we didn't end up doing this, so I'm gonna show you real quick. The Hinden Brick doesn't come unarmed, mind you. It does have some bombs on it over here. Uh, we're kind of low altitude right now, so I don't know how smart it is for me to be doing this, but it's Brick Rigs. I mean, when do we ever really do that much that's very intelligent? FIRE THE FIRST BOMB! There we go! That did pretty good, actually. No big deal right there. Hold on, let's uh, let's go ahead and maneuver the camera a little bit so that we can see the bombs go down a little bit. I think we have like three or four bombs. Let's go on top of this building over here. Maybe this will do well. There's the other bomb right there. Should burst right as it... Never mind, the bomb's absolutely gonna do nothing. Got more bombs, oh, more bombs, no big deal. There we go, that was a good hit. And now I'm doing some sort of flip, I don't know why. I decided to do this. The other bomb just kind of laying there. Hendon Brick, release the bombs! There we go. So it does bomb pretty legitimately. I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty that's a pretty decent bombing run. So the Hendon Brick is clearly very dangerous. It needs to be put out of its misery. We're gonna need something to shoot this thing out of the sky. Say hello to the Giga Flak Array by MNB369. This right here is an excellent example of going too far. Crap, part of the Giga Flak Array is on the train tracks. It's so big. I ended up putting part of it on the train tracks. No, no, you can't take my Giga Array down. Totally took the Giga Array down. It is driving with the Giga Array. Well, this is unusual. Look, we are gonna take- <laughs> I was gonna say we are gonna take down the hidden brick. With the Giga Array, I just never thought that we would be using it like a battering ram by the freaking train. Oh, Brick Riggs. You never cease to amaze me. Uh, alright. Well, that was unexpectedly awesome, but we have to- we have to fire with this thing. I'm not- I'm not satisfied taking it down like that. As you can see, there are quite a few guns. And by quite a few, I mean there is a ludicrous amount of guns. Um, it doesn't matter what you put up against. I think we shredded the Hinden Brick. Now, the Hinden Brick wasn't flying, so it doesn't really count yet. But we absolutely just shredded it. Gonna give this train what's coming to it, too. Feel my might! Yes. Gunfire. Sadness. There it is. We are being the- we are riding the train. The- the Giga Flak is riding the train. Now it's writhing in pain. So, the train is still vastly superior. 
to anything anyone can build at the moment. All right, now let's actually legitimately try and take down the Hindenbrick. All right, the Hindenbrick is slowly flying through the air. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Not quite looking very balloon-like, but whatever. Over here to the Gigaflack. Let's see if we can crap. The Hindenbrick just crashed. What just happened? Oh, I think I, I think I may have spawned the Giga Flack through the universe, and now it's soaring into the nether realm of space. All right, the Hindenbrick is up. Let's go inside of here. Now I don't know how long. Wow, it's coming down really fast. What was that? I put the. Uh, that's really odd. I put the um, the the speed down so that we could catch up over here. But the Hindenbrick just like did a kamikaze nosedive into the ground. It fluttered to the ground so majestically before. I mean, I know I'm not in it piloting it, but it it should still float relatively well, right? All right, we did it. As jacked up as this is, I damaged the Hinden brick to get it into the air, and now it's floating serenely. Is there like a... Oh, there is. Here we go, boys. Fire the cannons. Oh, God. Cover your eardrums. Woo! Oh, yes. A little bit of slow-mo right here. Never hurt anyone. Go ahead and look down the barrel. Go ahead and look down the barrels. As we eviscerate the totality of the Hindenbrick. Wow! I don't know how much money we just spent in ammunition. But the Hindenbrick is no more. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure nothing in this universe could survive against this thing. I, I don't actually know what the largest flying object is that we can possibly put up against this. Actually, you know what? It doesn't have to be a flying object, I guess. Over here, General Tralalalal has crafted for us, what's this called, like the Turkinator? <laughs> It's so messed up that I- hold on. I have to show you guys this. The General Industries Turkinator 1000. Yes. It's a robotic turkey. Uh, it kind of moves? It's got a cannon on the front of it over here. It kind of, like, wobbles its sad turkey-like body. See here? You can see its- its little stubby flappers kind of moving in the wind you know, uselessly. But the question is, if you put a turkey up against this this flak battery over here, how long would a turkey last? I'm kind of surprised. The turkinator is taking quite a licking. And he still seems to be okay for the most part. I mean, I wonder, you know, if we put this thing up against something like uh, Robo Stalin, you guys remember that? I imagine it would do a fair number, but it would probably take a while because we're just utilizing the regular machine guns over here as opposed to like cannons or whatnot. The cannons would probably be too much. It would probably just destroy the entirety of the game, especially if we laid it into the cityscape. We'll bring the flak battery back, but before that, feast your brick counting eyes on this. Alpha Gyrodos has went ahead and made the Jurassic Park Visitor Center. 6,400 friggin' bricks of epicness. It drives as well. It'll drive right off the little tracks over there, as you see. This thing is off the charts. Hold on, I have to get out of the, I have to get out of the vehicle for this so that we can visit the Visitor Center legitimately. Let us go over here by the door. Can you, yep, you sure can. When dinosaurs ruled the earth, look at this. You got the T-Rex skeleton sitting right over here in the middle. This actually looks like a pretty legitimate uh, recreation of the visitor center. Let's continue around over here. You can see a, uh, a young man giving a spiel to an audience, well, a potential audience over here, while various nano machines do all kinds of stuff with whatever it was, was it like amber? And there have you taking blood out and stuff like that. We go over here, we can see the uh, the very sophisticated computer stations that you have at your at your disposal. Nah, 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 nah. 
over here the blue screen of death apparently has occurred a couple of black screens over on this side now what in the world is this is this like the vials of dna or something like that let us continue our way through this area over here i think we have like a salad laying on the ground this must be your eatery this is that place where the visitors can come it's a cafe you know what i mean get yourself that rainforest cafe get yourself some chow something nice and he healthy what was it like a barbecue spare ribs like dinosaur barbecue spare ribs or some such like that up in here we've got is this like storage because we've got like dinosaur skulls we have what looks to be maybe some vertebrae i'm not 100 percent sure various boxes <laughs> oh no oh well one of the staff members went missing a couple months ago just found him I don't know what sort of strange... Is there, like, anything up here? You notice how there's... I wonder if we can jump on top of this. Yeah, we can. I was gonna say, this is a skylight. There's, there's like, a little, uh... Like, a little hidden area up over here. Like, an attic or something like that. So, 6,400 bricks of Jurassic Park sweetness. If I blow this up, I'm gonna melt the computer, aren't I? We're gonna have to do it. Magic mushroom is back and he has crafted for us something completely inappropriate it is the reign of pain well actually if we read it it is the r-a-r-c-h-b-c but for short the reign of pain what it is is an absolutely screen frame rate infuriating machine that you can take off like so like so there we go that you can take off like so that you can oh my god oh 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 okay okay we're gonna make this that you can levitate hold on let me see if i can get my camera facing correctly that you can levitate over by your area of destructive interest if we can do it and then once you're satisfied you can press numlock four to release the rain and numlock five to bring the pain. Oh, my computer's gonna crash. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. There it is. Bring the pain, baby. Jurassic Park never saw my <laughs> Oh, the slideshows. Oh, the slideshow simulator. Couple of bombs hitting the ground. Hold on. Are they, uh... Are they all dead? Nope. There's a few others, few others that just had to get finished. You can press that uh, numlock five button to blow up anything that wasn't a part of the initial destruction. Well, the reign of pain is pretty legit. It completely leveled the Jurassic Park uh, visitor center over here. Actually, there's like one pterodactyl still lollygagging about, flying around, like given the. Uh, Giving the freaking DMF to our buddy over there. Let's, uh, you know what? This, I think part of the frame rate issue, well, I know what the frame rate issue is. We've got like 11,000 bricks on the screen right now. Part of the frame rate issue is the visitor center. Let's see how well the Reign of Pain does to the normal city of Bricksville. Alrighty, the Reign of Pain is high over Bricksville. This is like the camera angle that we kind of have to, well, we can do, we can do, there we go. One of these camera angles right over here. All right. High above Bricksville, hanging out, looking pretty sweet. Actually, I wonder if, if I can bank ourselves. Hold on. Let me see if I can bank ourselves a little bit more perfect into the middle of Bricksville. Right over this building. Right here. Right here. All right. Now, let's gain a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on now. Get nice and steady. Nice and steady. There we go. A little bit more height. Right about, like, right a little bit higher. Nice and high. I want to make sure to clear. I want to make sure everyone gets a little love from the reign of pain today. All right. We are high above. Let us release the rain. I said release the rain. The rain. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know what. Oh, no signal. Oh, the rain is happening. Hold on. Oh, the rain's happening. Okay. Oh, yes! The rain of pain is real! 
Oh, the amount of sadness the denizens of Brick Rigs are feeling right now is unparalleled to any other emotion they have felt before. The reign of pain is amazing. Oh, Magic Mushroom. What you have done is bring sadness to so many beings inside of Bricksville and so much happiness to an old man's heart. Is there anything left when this thing splits? I don't think that there is. I think it just, I think it turns into literally nothing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and press the F5 button. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and press the F5 button just to see if there was any more extra explosions that we could get out of the deal. Yep. There was some extra explosions. Now, we missed a large part of the city over here. So, uh, hold on now. I think we're gonna have to do this one more time. This camera angle is actually really good for flying this thing over Bricksville. Kind of bring it right over... Right about here, I think. Should clear up most of the other buildings for the most part. Is there another angle where I could see this thing? Kind of, sort of. I know we can get out and look at it like this. Uh, yeah! That should, that should clear a nice hole in the rest of Bricksville over here. Fire the release of the bombs! And feel the sadness in old Gray's frickin' frame rate as they all detach. There we go. Alright. So the bombs have immediately detached. I love how none of them explode after they detach. Like, they detach so cleanly. And then it's just a hailstorm of high explosives. Yes! There we go. No building shall go by unscathed. All buildings must feel the pain. All buildings must feel the status. Actually, I'm kind of surprised at how little damage um, actually ended up. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Number five. Always there for me. Always there to liquefy whatever remains are left inside of this. This. <laughs> All right. The rain. What? Did you see that? Was the... Was the helicopter prop there for one second, and then it just evaporated off my screen? I feel like it was there for a second, and then it evaporated off the screen. Anyway, that's the rate of pain, folks. That's going to be it for this episode of Brick Rigs, uh, where we got to see the highest lifted vehicle in the entire universe, as well as some other really cool explosive stuff, and that sweet Jurassic Park Visitor Center. That was, like, amazing. You guys are making more and more crazy stuff. I freaking love it. Anyway, guys, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.